Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to your December 2022 love reading. Before I begin your reading, I just want to give my thanks to everyone. I appreciate you guys so much. And I just want to thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I really do appreciate it. I love you guys so much. And I'm not going to hold you guys up. I just want to make sure you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, so begin here with the what? Ooh, a victory. I like this. What a way to begin, Scorpio. You're getting attention. You're, there's a victory here for you. Now, crossing you, we have you waited a long time for this. And now it's finally coming in. Great. Now, your general energy, we have a celebration. So whatever this victory is, you're going to celebrate. Okay, I like that. And the recent past, you might have been stressing. Maybe, now I get for someone that maybe this is school or a class or something you took and you thought maybe... You weren't going to pass it. And that's not going to be for everyone. Or this could have been something that happened at work. Or anything here. But you are. This is past energy. So you, you don't have to worry about it. Now you're celebrating. And then coming in the near future. We have. Ooh. Someone wants to get a message to you. This is a page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have. Ooh. They have a mask on. They might have been hiding something from you. But now they want to talk to you. Let me get the page of wands. Let's see. Okay. This could be any sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be anybody. But there is communication coming. Whether this is a text, an email, a phone call, someone showing up at your door, whether it's at work or or at um, home. But someone is going to reach out to communicate to you. They are wearing a mask, so that's interesting. Okay, then coming in for you, we have... Ah, they might be coming to maybe even the score here. Maybe... This is a connection where you did all the giving and they just took. Maybe they want to balance things out now. We'll see what the other cards say. Okay, now, outside influences. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone interested in you. We have, yeah, they want to grow something with you. Here we have the tree here. Okay, so you have a Queen of Wands, which could be any sign. But it's coming out with someone that's very passionate. Very, um, very good looking, too. Okay, then we have, for your energy, we have, oh, you are the high priestess. Well, looky, looky. Okay, so this could be also representative of Virgo and Cancer, but this is your energy. This is, your intuition is on fire at this time. So whatever you're doing here, you're really tapping into your intuition. You might be having dreams, very vivid dreams. Write down your dreams, journal. Um, in your journal, write down, put a pad or a and a pen next to your bed. So when you get these dreams, you can write them down so you can remember them because they're giving you information here. You're very in touch with your intuition here. And you also might be able to see through people's lies because you can't really hide a secret from the high priestess. Or you also might be keeping a secret here. Let's see. Ooh, okay, so your energy, things are going to start moving. Cancer energy. Expect something to happen real quick here. Either you're moving somebody quick or something's coming quick towards you. It could be a cancer. Okay, the possible outcome, we have a tower. Okay, so something's going to surprise you. Maybe with this um, chariot, something's coming in quick, out of the blue, surprising you, not expecting it. Or maybe you're surprising others with the tower. The tower is Scorpio and Aries energy. Okay, then we have, oh, you might be surprising someone by ending something. You might be leaving a job, quitting a job. You might be leaving a relationship, a marriage. But you might be putting an end to something. And that might shock everybody. Or an end might be coming in for you that you didn't expect. And then we have... And then there's going to be an offer coming here. Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now remember, don't get scared of the tower. Because after the tower comes the star. This is something that's necessary. If we don't do what we're supposed to do, the universe steps in and takes care of things for us. Oh, see? You're cutting someone out. So this person might be coming in with an offer. They might be even offering to help you cut something out. Are offering to help you change something with the page of pentacles let me get a um let's see okay that's taurus virgo capricorn Alrighty here and then at the bottom we have the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this i think is you coming into the money here or focusing on your money maybe you're really paying a lot of attention to your finances here or making money let me get a charm on this one and we have here Okay, we have the dragon protection, um, wisdom. This is pretty good. Okay, let's see. Um, get a this is 
Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so now let's start clarifying. Let's see, why do we have the Six of Wands? Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here? Ooh, we have a Knight of Pentacles coming towards you, too. So someone's come with an offer here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, slow and stay. They take their time. They want a commitment. They want something. They want a long-term relationship. They want to settle down. They want stability here with this anchor here. Okay, let me get the Knight of Pentacles here. All right. They want victory with you, too. You might have been waiting for this person to show up. Because this is the card of waiting here with the Three of Wands. Expecting it and waiting. Or it could be offer for business, too. Or a uh, job. Okay, let's see. Why do we have Three of Wands here? And we have... Okay, we have here, to clarify that, we have... You might have been um, healing from something. You've been healing from Three of Swords. You could have been on a break, on a vacation, um, taking a time out. But you, you know, this a lot of times you've got three swords above this knight here. Got the one sword here, wanting the truth, wanting to heal from something. But you've been waiting for this, waiting for this time. Okay, now why do we, we're celebrating here with the three of cups. What's that all about? Let's see. Ooh, the king of wands. Alrighty, we have the king of wands. So I'm feeling this is your energy. We have the queen of wands here. You're celebrating, you might have got a promotion. Or you're in a leadership role. But this is someone's very charming. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Queen of Wands here. So I think we have your, this is your counterpart here. What do we have here? We have a cat. Psychic, independent, balance. This is your energy. Okay, let me do this here. You're celebrating some kind of promotion or something. Or you maybe started your own business. Okay, why do we have the Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay, so something happened here that you're worried about. The sun came out, Leo energy, something to celebrate. Something that you're worried about, that's over, that's done. So that's good. Now, why do we have the page of wands? Someone wanting to speak to you. What's that all about? Ah, they're, they're probably getting the strength to come towards you because maybe they're afraid to... This is someone maybe that you had in the past in a connection and they weren't being right with you so now they need the strength to come forward here could be a leo and they want i think they want to balance things out so let's see what we get on the six of pentacles what's going on with that ah see they're coming with the page of cups they want to make an offer here so but you know it's weird how they're coming in this page maybe younger than you or immature they also there's some kind of surprise with the fish popping out of the cup we do have here an elephant there's memories here this person can't stop thinking about you. They're coming in to apologize. Okay. Now, why do we have the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay. Looks like someone wants commitment with you. This Queen of Wands, and then you could reverse these. It doesn't matter the gender, but someone wants long-term commitment. Probably marriage. They want to grow with you. Okay, what about the High Priestess? That's your energy. So let's see what that's all about. And you know, this King, you're here. Oh, look at this. Definitely, your intuition's on fire. Also, this King of Wands, which I said is you, has the cat that's very psychic. So your intuition is really very strong. We have the High Priestess clarifying the High Priestess. Okay, what about the Chariot? Why is the Chariot here? Okay, you're moving away from your burdens here. Something's shifting. Something's changing. Okay, what about this tower? Why do we have the tower? Ooh, I can't believe we got the tower again. Oh my gosh. So there's something definitely coming in here that's going to really shake you up or shake someone up. There's a big surprise, big changes. And it's bringing an ending here. So let's see what that's all about. Let's clarify that ending. Oh, judgment. Okay, this is judgment coming. Something coming back around maybe. There's a big judgment call. Something's ending because that's what has to be. And then we have this page of pentacles. What's that all about? The world. Yeah, you're completing cycle. Start something new. Someone's going to offer you something. A whole new start. Something new. And you're going to have to decide what to do. You might have a couple different options to balance things out here. Mm, okay. 
Let's do some more. Wow. Okay, what else do we have here for Scorpio? What else? What else? Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Ah, we have your card here, the Death and Reaper. That makes sense. There's some major changes going on for you, boy. Um, death, rebirth, transformation. This is destined to happen. Wow. This is this is a heavy-duty reading. December is going to be major for you. Major, major changes. And there might be competition here. But you're here above the rest. I don't, you have nothing to worry about. You got the you started out with the victory card, so you're doing quite well here. You're surprising everyone. You, you have a choice here, whether you want to do something from the past or future. You might be traveling here. Choices, and then we have the King of Swords. Wow. Uh, so this is um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the Owl. Very wise, because the Air signs are very wise, and then you have the owl on top of it. So they're saying this person is very wise. They might be coming to help you, or this might be your energy. Let's see what else we have here. What else? And we have the hierophant. This is a commitment. This is someone who wants a serious commitment. All right, let's see. Okay, we got a couple people. Yeah, I think you are going to have to pick between a couple people here. You might have people come. I think you have opportunities and work. And okay, there's definitely an ending here. Opportunities and work and um, love here. So we have some kind of ending here with the Ten of Swords. And we have now we have the Knight of Swords come running towards you. So let me get the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone's coming toward you. After you end something, they're coming in real quick. Okay. And we have here, ooh, we have the octopus. Okay, this might be someone that's all all hands, all arms, <laughs> or may, maybe many projects here or something with the octopus. And we have the queen of wands showing up again. All righty. And we have temperance. Things are balancing out for you. Um, being patient here is going to balance and helps you balance things out. Queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me get another charm here. And we have the fish. Okay, so this is some kind of spiritual connection here with the fish. Yeah, there's something uh, with the fish. It's um intuition again, emotions, fertility. This is a connection between the subconscious and the unconscious mind. Yeah, this is also a very spiritual connection. So, let me, oh, can we, don't want to forget to do this. Let me get my queen. Where's my queen? I need the queen. Oops, I dropped the people. My queen, I dropped my queen now. Okay, queen's laying now. Let's see. Oh, that's not a, that's a page. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm trying to find my queen of wands. Here we go. Here's the queen of wands. Okay, this is a page. Alrighty, so, yeah, so this Queen of Wands is back here again, too. Very strong connection. Might be a different person, or might be, it could be even be your energy here, coming across as a queen. But I have you as a king here with the queen, so let, let me get some cards on this. We'll see what the words say. That will help us more. Got a lot, a lot of people interested in you, though. It's going to be a busy month for you. You're going through major changes, ma major changes. Transformation. We have isolation. Alone time is needed. Time to deep soul searching. Yeah, you might have to, after all this stuff happens, you might have to try to figure things out. And then we have healing. A time of reflection prayers will help you with this situation. We do have the healing right there, too. So you're definitely going to be taking some time out to heal. And then we have wheel of luck. And we have it there. Nice. So it's all things are aligned in your favor. Luck is on your side. In the bottom of the deck, we have a soulmate. Okay. A connection from your past life has emerged. Embrace the connection. Okay. So someone's returning. Oh, who wants to show up here too? Uncertainty. You might be uncertain about something here. But everything's happening for a reason. So just go with the flow. It's the easiest thing to do. Okay, let's see here now. 
Let's start with the page of wands. What's the scoop on this page of wands on top here? We have unknown regret pleasure. Okay, what is that all about? Someone, something unknown, someone regrets something about pleasure? Okay, I don't know. If that makes sense to you, you'll know what it means. Okay, what about the Page of Pentacles? We have, here, oh, I got four. We have Honest. Ooh, another tower. I can't believe you got another tower. Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Honest before. Okay, important. So something, someone's going to be, it's on, someone's going to be, it's important that someone's honest before. Maybe they're going to be before this tower. Okay, some kind of surprise or shock's coming in here. Something's changing all of a sudden. Something, something's happening. Okay, what about this King of Swords? We have past life. Soulmate. Wow. Future. Okay, this past life person's coming in. They're a soulmate. You're going to be... They're, they plan to see you in the future or be with you in the future. Okay, I'm going to go right across here. What about this Knight of Pentacles? Will you change thoughts? Ooh. So maybe you have some bad thoughts about this person. They're asking you to change. Or it could be you're changing your thoughts and they might come in and ask you a question that starts with will you. Now what about the page of cups? I got two here. Career? Never. What? Okay, never a career. Maybe something this person's offer you. Maybe you don't want that for a career. Okay, you're going to say never. Okay, what about this Queen of Pentacles? We have... Ooh, the other, another tower. I can't believe you're getting all these towers. They're, they're going to surprise you and confess, or this is you. Someone's going to surprise you and confess feelings to you. Wow. Aries Scorpio with the tower. Okay, let's see. What about... Knight of Swords. You have a lot of surprises coming in. Okay, we have Sincere. Very soon someone's coming in and they're going to be sincere. They're coming in quick too. and Because that is a Knight of Swords. And this says very soon too. So expect someone to show up really quick. Okay, here's a Queen of Wands here. We have Likely. Karma. Excited. Okay, so someone's going to get their karma. So it's, I would say if they're excited, it's probably... The, a good karma. Okay, what about this King of Wands? Wow. We have money confused after. Okay, let me get something on the money here. Let's see what the money one's about. Okay, we have... Ooh, house. This is money for a house. Maybe someone's getting money for a house or something. This is... I feel like this is your energy. So there's something about house money or money for a house and someone's confused after. Maybe someone's giving you money for a house. I don't know. Let's see. What about the Queen of Wands on the hair? Let's see. We have later. We got four here. Finish. Keeps the money. Reunite. Okay. So later reunite. Keeps the money. Finish. Finish later. I don't know. You guys can rearrange the how it makes sense to you. Let's get a one of the money ones now. Let's see what we have here. We have... Ooh. So here's a loan. This is for a loan. So someone might say just keep the money. Someone might, might say forget about the loan. Just... Wow. Okay. Well, you guys got to let me know if this resonates with you guys. It's very exciting. Okay, so now, let's see what signs we could do. Look at all these people. You got a lot happening. A lot of things coming in. A lot of surprises. Wow. Okay, we have Scorpio. Wow, right off the bat. That's something. And then we have Gemini. Libra. Pisces. Actually, I should move these guys. I have to put my charms on here. I want them to sit better. I'm making a mess. Okay, we'll do that. P 
Pisces and Capricorn. Okay, so for the signs we have coming up for you now are Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Pisces, Capricorn. This could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Okay, now do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters, and this will be for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last, someone has a middle name, and you know the middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own. We have H, Q, headquarters, H, N, B, N, U, M, O, P, we have a mop, mops, S. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are H, Q, H, N, B, N, U M O P S. Now for the names. What are the names here for Scorpio? What are the names? Oh my God! Look at them all come out. I don't know if I need any more. They all jumped out. <laughs> well, I might need a couple more. Okay, we have a Marilyn, uh, Chris, uh, Ariana, Nicole. Beth Yakuba, Y A C O U B A, Missy. Okay, so that's seven. Need four more. Nope. Just is Gloria. Three more. Bahida, B A H I D A. Two more. Oh, we got two here. All right, so we have. Philomena, oh, I got three, and Larry, and Oliver. Okay, so we have 12 now. All right, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave comments. Let me know if it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, check out your other place. We always do the sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. But if it does resonate, you could even check out all your other placements and get an even better, complete picture. It will blow your mind when you put them all together. Okay, guys, I love you so much, and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.